Welcome back everybody, my name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and today I have ARC Company for you. I wanna show you all that ARC Company has to offer. Some of you may remember that I have talked about ARC Company in the past, whether it's in my own personal EDC update videos or in the giveaway that I did. He was actually hacked over on Instagram several months ago, back when he actually originally sent me some stuff. He had seven or 8,000 followers at the time, Somebody hacked into his account, changed the account name. He reported that to Instagram, but he was never able to recover that account and he had to start fresh. So he held a giveaway to try to help get him back on track. Of course, he's not made it all the way back to seven or 8,000 followers, which is unfortunate if you're on Instagram. I highly encourage you to go follow him to just show support if nothing else, um, because he's a great guy. He makes great stuff and he did not deserve that. So I tried to make it right. We've got him on the right track and he's doing well, but I wanted to showcase what he has here for you on the channel. Just for the record, since he sent some stuff so long ago, they're actually not available. Some of these things are not available, at least not in their current forms, but there are different versions and I'll talk about that later in the video. But if you want to learn how to win an ARC Company Rambler in black or the quick draw, watch the rest of the video. I will tell you how you can enter to win that stuff later on. And yeah, one of them does include having an Instagram account. Sorry, not sorry. All right, with all of that said, this is Arc Company, and let's do the damn thing. Okay, here we are with Arc Company at long last. He has sent me several things over a long span of time. He sent me this and other pieces of gear, I believe. I, I don't know, you can check the Instagram. These came in and we did the giveaway almost immediately. And this is the Rambler. This was one of the first that he sent me. He also sent the compass and this one, which I believe, I don't even know. It's not even on his Etsy page now. I believe that was called the Bandit. Most of his work is done in Cordura. It's all really, really nice, very durable stuff. And he does litter in a few pieces. He's got like a Midori traveler's notebook in all leather he has a bigger version of this, which I believe is the Bandit XL, which has a belt loop on it, and it's just made out of a little nicer leather than this one. So he, do he does mostly work in Cordura, but he does some leather work as well. We're gonna start on the left and work our way across to the other pieces of gear, and that means we're gonna start with the quick draw. So there it is. This is the Arc Company Quick Draw, and this is a very, very small organizer. It's a two pocket slip for small gear. You can see approximately what I have carried inside this. We have a polka pen, a Lumen Top Tool AAA flashlight, and the Giltec Ruck. And yes, these will be available soon. I promise, I promise the Best M EDC Ruck will be available very soon. Inside this, you can also carry something like a Victorinox Cadet and any sort of small pen or pencil. It's about Fisher Space Pen bullet size. That's what this is made for. Something smaller diameter, this is what that's for. So he sells these for $21 and the pocket sizes are actually the exact same on both sides, which is not something you'll see in most of the others. Most of the others have a smaller and a larger pocket. These are both one and three eighths inches wide and two and three quarter inches tall. So that just gives you an idea of what can fit inside there. I also have a TPT slide. It fits inside just as well, maybe actually a little better than the Giltec Ruck. The Ruck is just a little bit of a tight squeeze. This one is the slide. Once that slide goes in, the lock mechanism, uh, it catches on the way out. So a normal TPT might fit just a hair better than the TPT slide. Obviously this is the black version of the quick draw, but as with many things, from Arc Company. He has them in multiple colors. He has this OD green, which if it's available, he can make it. Sometimes when it's available, he has this black multicam, which is really, really neat. It's a very subtle camo pattern. He also has tan, the coyote tan color, which I have in the Boulder wallet. You can see my pants have kind of worn off on the, the, the tan, but there are color options available. This is just the black version. And again, that's $21 for the quick draw. Next, we're gonna go with this. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was the Bandit. I don't have a price for this one, um, but like I said, there is the Bandit XL and it's about the same thing. It's a little leather organizer with a pin loop and it has a pocket for a larger knife or a medium sized knife, I'd say. So a traditional, I don't remember the pocket size on the actual uh, 
Bandit XL, but it doesn't have a belt loop on the back so you can attach this to your belt and wear it. And the one thing I like about that, as opposed to something like the organizer from Tale of Knives with the clip or the belt loop, is that the Tale of Knives stays on your belt. So what I mean by on your belt is it's on your belt. The belt goes around right here with his, the loop is actually sewn onto the back and the loop is above. So it actually hangs from your belt rather than being attached to your belt or, or centered on your belt. It actually hangs so it's a little lower, which means when you sit down, it may flop like this, but it's not jabbing into your side. And the Tell of Knives holsters and, and organizers do really well because they have a lip and that kind of covers the top of the gear to keep it from just jabbing you in the side. It gives it a little protection layer. But having something hang from your belt is kind of a nice option as well because you know it's it's got further to travel to poke you in the side i am going to go a little out of order because the closest thing to this is actually going to be this one right here this is the grunt so this is meant for a medium-sized knife i have a bench made proper in there right now but anything around the size or even a little bigger will fit perfectly in the back of this organizer it's a one pocket slip with a pin loop so you have an elastic pin loop that is meant for a fisher space pin bullet and anything roughly Fisher Space Pin Bullet size will fit here. As you know, I tend to carry the uh, TI Pocket Pro a lot from Big Idea Design. It doesn't really fit, like you can make it, but it's gonna stretch that elastic out. It is one of my least favorite things about this pin is that it's just a hair thick right here in the grip area for elastic bands for pin loops. And your knife pocket is gonna be good for anything around this size. So the small Sabenza fits really well. Um, your bug out might fit. I don't think I brought the bug out. I did not bring a bug out. What other knife do I have? I have my Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife will go well in there. You might want to lanyard on it just so you can actually access it or pull it out. But the grunt is available. It's $25 and the pocket dimension on this is one and three quarters inches wide and four inches tall. Next up, we're going to go again a little out of order. This is probably the one I've talked about the most. It is the one he sent me first, and that is just the normal Rambler. And this is a two pocket slip, or two pocket EDC organizer. And it's meant for something like a uh, Olight i3 TEOS, a knife around the size of a Swiss Army knife, or even your proper. Your proper will fit in the back pocket as well, just as well as a Swiss Army knife. But it is very similar to the Grunt minus the pin loop. So you can do a knife, a flashlight and if you wanted to you can still fit a fisher space pin bullet in there so the thing about this is that it's going to sit a little thicker in the pocket than something like the grunt just because you're kind of layering up gear so it's kind of sitting on top of it so he sells these for 36 dollars the front pocket size on this one is one and a half inches by three and a half inches and the back pocket is two inches by four and one quarter inches so that might help give you an idea of other things that may fit well in here i've Got a ton of gear that I can show you what fits, but really in this one, if you say you have the TI Pocket Pro EDC and you don't want that elastic loop, it fits really well inside this. You can also put a Fisher Space Pin Bullet and a smaller flashlight like the i3 TEOS or the Lumen Top tool. If I can get it out of there, I have the Lumen Top tool here. The problem with the Lumen Top tool is that it doesn't really have a deep carry clip like the i3T, but the Poka Pin, not a good fit only because it slides all the way down. So if you don't mind having to like push it up from the bottom, then the polka pins can work as well. But there you have it. That is the two pocket organizer. That is the Rambler from Arc Company. Keeping in that same line is the Rambler Mini or the Mini Rambler rather. And this one is just a single pocket slip. You know, if you have a bigger knife and you want to put it in a slip like the Titty Ute that I have here, it'll fit. This will hold the Titty Ute. You can put that in there and you might be able to squeeze in a pin with it. Yeah, look at that. So you can keep a pin and a knife in a very compact little sleeve. But really what you're probably gonna wanna do with this is keep small items like your flashlight and your pin together in your pocket. This just helps keep them upright and from sliding around or falling sideways in your pocket. Or, or as we all know, the Fisher Space Pin Bullet tends to disappear, not in the pocket, it tends to disappear from the pocket. It just, it's slippery. It just disappears. It's its a Houdini. I've lost several of them. So if you keep them in your pocket, something like this, you're probably less likely to lose it. This is the mini Rambler. It's $19, so a much cheaper option than the original Rambler. 
And the pocket size, since you only have one pocket on this, is one and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. The other thing, another idea for what you can carry inside this is a cadet with a Fisher Space Pin. If you wanted to do that, those fit perfectly inside this. And that is the Mini Rambler. Continuing on that, we have the Rambler XL. And this is kind of the Mac Daddy. This thing right here will hold quite a bit of gear. And we're gonna go through what I've got in here. But first, the Rambler XL, this one is $38. The front pocket size on this is one and three quarters inches wide by four inches tall. And the back pocket is two and a half inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And this one is meant for a multi-tool or something big, a bigger knife like a paramilitary two or something along that size or along those lines. But your Leatherman Free, your Leatherman Wave fits in here just fine as well. And you have room for a pin. So I have both of these in the back pocket and in the front pocket, I have the Griffin Pocket Tool XL and a small traditional. That's a great Eastern cutlery. I don't remember what, the, what model number that is. That's what I fit inside this, which is kind of crazy. So this is probably not something you're gonna carry in your pocket. I mean, if you're okay with a little bulk in your pocket, fine. This is probably gonna be perfectly fine for you, but if you don't want that extra weight in your pocket, which I normally don't, this is perfect for throwing down inside a backpack. You can throw all of this gear in here and toss this whole thing down into a backpack and you've got just kind of like a quick grab and go little toolkit, which is perfect. It's really, really great. You obviously don't have to cram this thing quite as full either. You can also remove the small knife from this front pocket, push the pry tool over and put a pin over here. And you could also put a pencil back there. If you've got something else, you could have a pen and pencil in your organizer. There's a lot of stuff you can do with all of these organizers. And that's one thing I like about these is they're simple. They don't have tons of tiny little pockets. They have a few larger sized pockets so you can fit kind of an assortment of stuff in here. Like this is not at all what he has listed on his Etsy page to fit inside this thing. Um, he has listed that it'll hold a multi-tool and some other stuff, but this is just what I threw together when I was preparing for this video. And this is how I will probably continue to carry this in my backpack. This will probably go in my EDC backpack that I have and it'll just be right inside so I can reach in and grab it if I need any of these tools. So that is the Rambler XL. Really, really cool little thing. I like it a lot. All right, next we're gonna talk about this little minimalist wallet. So this is just a card holder, really. You have room for cards on the back, you have a pocket for cards in the middle, and pocket for cards in the front. I actually carried this inside the Yellow Birch Outfitters pocket organizer for a long time. This is how I kept my cards compact and together inside the back of the pocket organizer. It doesn't really add any weight, it's not very heavy at all, and it's very, very slim. It sells this, just not with leather anymore. So this is the Compass wallet, so if you go to his Etsy, it's there, and it's $33, but it is now all Cordura, so no more leather. And, and I think I'd be okay with that because this leather is actually quite thin. This is like, I don't, I'm not an expert on leather anymore, but I think this is like two ounce leather, maybe three ounce. And most of the things you see from like kitchen timber or whatnot are five, six, seven ounce leather. They're thick. They're very, very thick and layered. And this is just a very thin leather. And I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think this is gonna tear or fall apart, but uh, I like the look of this. I like the green and the brown, but this is just a really cool minimalist wallet. When I want to go super lightweight, this is one of the ones I reach for. I either look at the uh, Lever Gear tool card, the Summit wallet, or this thing, or the Cave Leather Anderson wallet, but this is probably the most slim minimalist wallet I have, short of the Lever Gear Tool Card Pro. Pretty cool little minimalist wallet if you want something affordable and very, very thin and lightweight. Next up we have a newer item from him and this is called the Ripcord. And this is uh, more along the lines of the Rambler XL, but even bigger. So if you have a flashlight, that's really what this is designed for is a larger flashlight. It will hold a flashlight up to one inch in diameter. Of course, I don't really carry a bigger flashlight than that because I carry the Olight S2R Baton 2. So I slide that in here and guess what? With that in here, you still have room for a pin. So that's really neat. I like that. And the other side is meant for a bigger tool like a Leatherman. Um, the Wave fits in here. The Free P4 fits in here. Most Leathermans, I believe, or multi-tools are going to fit. Not all. Because this right pocket is actually only two inches wide with four inches in height. 
and the left pocket is one and three quarter inches wide, four inches in height as well, but it does have an open bottom. That is why that is the, pocket, the flashlight because some flashlights aren't tall, uh, especially ones that are fatter, sometimes really short. So you can still push up from the bottom to get your flashlight really easily. This is again, something I tried carrying this in my pocket and it's just too bulky and heavy for my pocket. So again, this is probably something that I would toss down inside a backpack. Keeping all your gear together like this is a really great idea. I like this and uh, I think this is really neat. This again is the ripcord and it's $29. And finally, the last piece that I have from Art Company to show you is probably my favorite. It's a, it is easily one of my favorite wallets I've ever owned and that is the Boulder wallet. You guys have heard me talk about it a lot. This is a wallet organizer. I've, I've carried organizers like this as wallets for a while. The Card Caddy was very top of my list, one of my favorite wallets of all time. I like organizer wallets because it keeps everything really compact and this is most, not all, but most of my EDC. And I should put this on here because you guys know this is how I carry it. I put my pen on the outside. I have this actually in the Coyote Tan and in black. So uh, Mark was really nice. He heard me say that I really like the OD green and he sent it. I told him not to, I told him not to send the black one, but he sent them. He told me that he wanted to come up with something similar, but different an organizer that also functions as a wallet. And I think he knocked it out of the park. So with this wallet, you have a one inch wide pocket that's three inches tall on the left side and a one and one quarter inch wide pocket on the right side that's also three inches tall. You have on the inside, a card pocket that'll hold a few cards. I think about uh, four cards on the inside. You have this smaller pocket, which I use for toothpicks. I don't know exactly what else you would put in there. Maybe, maybe like an SD card or uh, something really flat, maybe like a pry bar that might go in there. Um, I just didn't like how anything thick inside the wallet made the, it bulge when you closed it. And then you also have card slots on the back that'll hold another two to three cards. I have two cards, my most used, the debit cards and the Travex comb in the back here. But yeah, this is a little bulky for some people as far as wallets go. Um, for me, I think it's okay because I, I don't have, you know, these other things spread around my other pockets, but I have mostly everything other than a flashlight and maybe a box cutter, a utility knife in another pocket. But this right pocket here is good for, this is the small subends it fits in there really well. Just about any, you know, medium sized traditional knife. It'll also hold some smaller Swiss Army knives. So this is a Pioneer, not a Pioneer X. So it's a two layer. So it'll hold that pretty well. The Cadet fits pretty loosely in there, so I wouldn't go with that, but a Pioneer X is just a hair thick for this thing, um, but the Benchmade proper will also fit really, really well in there. Um, I haven't explored this, this left pocket nearly as much, but I've kept the spry bar in there pretty much the whole time. Um, for a while, I don't know if I had anything else in there. So you've got a little extra room on this side, and then your knife you got to go with something smaller. The cadet may fit on that site. Yeah, so you have your cadet, a pin, and a flashlight on the outside here. And that's not too bad. It's it's thicker than what I had, for sure. Uh, but it still works. It still works quite well. But definitely my favorite configuration and pretty much the most frequent carry that I have is the small Sabenza in the right pocket, the spry bar in the left pocket, and the pin clipped to the outside for a mostly titanium carry right there, but I have been actually carrying the proper in here this week over the Sabenza, just because I don't know, I've been on a slip joint clip point kick lately, so this really fits the bill for me. This wallet really just checks all the boxes for me. It's slim, lightweight, and it holds my gear, and uh, I really can't ask for anything more than that. I do think it's probably a little thick for a lot of people. I mean, that's not exactly a slim wallet anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really like this and I'm really torn most days between this and the Travex Contour as my favorite wallets. So I say hats off to you, Mark. You did a killer job designing this. I love the Boulder wallet, but these retail for 46 bucks. You can find them over on his Etsy page. And like everything else I mentioned in this video, it will be linked down below. All right, so you want to know how to win the Rambler or the Quick Draw. First up, we're gonna do the quick draw giveaway. This one is gonna take place over on Instagram. If you want to enter to win this, just look for the post. There will be a post around the time this goes live and it will be a giveaway for this. You have to like the photo, comment and tag three friends and follow Arc Company and Best Damn EDC over on Instagram. And I will select a winner at some point in the future. I, don't, I haven't determined when I will select a winner yet, but I will select a winner. And that's all you have to do to enter to win the quick draw. Not the stuff in it, 
just the quick draw that is gonna be taking place over on Instagram. Other giveaway with the Rambler, again, not with the stuff in it, just the Rambler by itself. So let me take the stuff out of here. This right here, if you want to enter to win the Arc Company Rambler, just comment down below with a number between, let's say 1,000 and 2,000, and uh, I will randomly select a number, and whoever gets the closest first or guesses the correct number will win the Arc Company Rambler. That is going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support what I'm doing here or ARC company, all of these things are going to be linked down below as well as everything else that I mentioned, all the gear that you see inside these organizers that will all be linked down below. And if you do purchase anything, it helps support what I'm doing here through affiliate links. The ARC company stuff isn't actually affiliate, but the rest of the stuff is. So if you click and buy anything, I get a little bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So it's just a good way for you to support the show. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash best EDC to show support that way. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at best EDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.